Hey, it's semi wilderness again. Uh, hot July summer day in southern Michigan. I've been looking for this plant ever since I saw a video by, I believe it's Ed's here now. He made a video on pineapple weed. And as soon as I saw the flower, I remembered the plant from when I was a kid playing in the dirt with uh, little green army men. And uh, I haven't been able to find a plant since. But sure enough, growing right here in my driveway is a whole bunch of pineapple weed. And I'll try and post some detailed pictures at the end of this video. But this plant is in the aster family. This plant is in the aster family. And it's somewhat unique because the flowers themselves don't have any petals. It's a round acorn-shaped flower head which is actually a bunch of small individual flowers. If you look at that under a hand lens you might be able to see it. Hopefully it'll show up in the pictures at the end of this video but this is a uh, According to Botany in a Day, a book by Thomas J. Elpel, this is in the chamomile tribe of plants, uh, chamomile tea, and if you take the flower and you crush it, I can smell it from here. It's supposed to smell like pineapple. Um, to me it doesn't smell like pineapple, but other people think it does. Uh, I think it just smells really good. And you can take these fresh flowers and make a tea. Um, I made some last night. I took about 20 of these flower heads, which was maybe a tablespoon's worth. And... Uh, made some tea and it was pretty good but I'm gonna take some of this over in the shade where I can maybe show you a little better what it looks like okay so here I am in the shade and this is the plant, pineapple weed. I believe the Latin name is Matricaria, Matricarialoids, or something like that. You can look it up. But it's a small plant that only gets maybe six to 18 inches of tall. And it has fairly unique leaves, which are somewhat fern-like. They grow opposite on the stem, or I'm sorry, they're alternate. They alternate going up the stem. And like I said, the flower itself has no petals, and it's shaped like an acorn and they're fairly small flowers. The tea I made yesterday with about a tablespoon of these flower heads in a tall glass of hot water uh, wasn't very strong. You could taste the pineapple weed but uh, I think you need a, a good handful in a tall glass of water to really get that good flavor and it tastes really good. I'm impressed with this as a tea. As a matter of fact, um, I had a uh, somewhat of a stress, nervous stress headache 
and after drinking the tea my headache went away almost uh, instantly whether that was from the plant or not is uncertain but it has a small straight tap root with a few rootlets coming off of it and I don't know of any other plant that looks like this except for wild chamomile but wild chamomile actually has petals on the flower head but pineapple weed doesn't have petals that's pretty much it just uh, take those flower heads and crush them up in some water and uh, in some hot water and make tea with it the, the plant is edible according to botany in a day um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go through my books with this plant later on in a different video and show you how I go about identifying these plants and and also how I learn about a lot of other plants as well okay so I apologize for the noise at the end of the pineapple weed video my neighbor started up his motorbike so I had to cut the video off but I went ahead and gathered up uh, a bunch of the pineapple weed leaves uh, small stems and flowers and I heated up myself a cup of hot water and one thing that will help if you're looking to make teas herbal teas is one of these reusable uh, tea bags I don't know what they're called it's just a, a metal I believe this is aluminum uh, screen with a screw on lid you can dunk that up and down in there but all you need to do is uh, take the pineapple weed leaves stems and flowers and just cut it up into small pieces um, the pineapple weed that I gathered yesterday was from the same location where I showed you in my driveway and the leaves didn't have that pineapple smell but today the leaves do have that smell and I've read that some varieties um, lack the smell altogether and some varieties only have the smell in the flower how true any of that is I don't know it's just what I've read but try and chop that up fairly fine and try to get it into the little tea holder uh, I found a good thing to have is this little reusable tea holder and also a, a reusable coffee filter I use those a lot when making uh, and preparing wild edibles get that all chopped up fairly good I'd say that's that was about uh, maybe three plants worth and the plants are only about six inches tall and it looks like I got maybe a little over a tablespoon in there put that in there and let it steep the holes in this uh, tea bag are kind of big and it's letting those uh, little individual flowers that make up the 
the pineapple weed flower they're going right through but this will keep all the main junk out the plant is edible so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat those uh, little bits it's not gonna be a problem but I'm gonna let that steep for about 10 minutes and uh, give it a try for the second time and uh, see see how it tastes I'll get back to you when I do oh hey if you want a good pair of shears the lighting in this room is terrible but these are Wiss W-I-S-S Weiss uh, these are just an excellent pair of shears that will last you your entire lifetime I have a few of those talk to you later all right well I've let this soak for I'd say 10 minutes anyway I'm patience is not a virtue of mine it, it doesn't the pineapple weed doesn't really color the water much it's just a light yellow color is all but we're gonna go ahead and pull this tea ball out of here I think that's what they're called I'm not sure and uh, give this a try I do these videos on wild plants and I'm usually just out in the field pointing them out and never really explain much about them but never actually show them in use but here we go there's some pineapple weed or what is very close to chamomile tea Mm, it's good. It doesn't have a a really strong flavor, but uh, it's pretty good edible. Mm, it tastes good. I'm trying to get a good angle here so you can see it, but the lighting in this room isn't isn't very good. It's just a a very light yellow colored tea. Mmm, but it's good and refreshing. Go out and find you some pineapple weed and give it a try. Oh, by the way, a lot of people ask what is a good plant to use uh, to repel mosquitoes? And I've always said, uh, any plant in the onion family works but I've also after uh, researching this plant and finding out that yarrow is related to pineapple weed uh, yarrow is considered to have um, insect repelling properties I haven't done any research with it so if you're interested do some research and find out about yarrow and uh, maybe that will help to keep the bugs off you yarrow that you find in the field has uh, white flowers uh, some books say that they are slightly pink but there are cultivated varieties of yarrow we have it growing in our yard and it has yellow flowers now I've found what I believe is an escaped variety of this uh, that grows wild and is very abundant in a field nearby and it has yellow flowers but if you look online and in books uh, I very rarely have seen yarrow being referenced as having yellow flowers but there you go there is a yellow flowered yarrow check it out